Hey there, guys. So you got everything shot. Awesome. Let's take a look what's on those pictures. The Omanis Weld coming at you with how to develop Super 8 with Caffeinol. Come on, let's check it out. Alright guys, so we have everything set up here. Uh, you see we have our laundry, so our soda wash. We have our coffee, our vitamin C powder, and our salt. And the salt is going to be a substitute for the potassium bromide. So well, let's get this stuff measured out. Alright guys, let's get these weighed out. Let's get I use 1200 milliliters. Of distilled water. Most of the measurements for caffeinol come at a thousand milliliters. I do 1200 because that is the measurement for the Lomo tank for developing 16 millimeter film. I wanted to have just a good basis to be able to do that. I'm going to do 143 grams. gonna do our vitamin C powder. We're gonna do 10 grams of salt. This is your restrainer. You're gonna do 42 grams of coffee. around 73, 74 degrees. What I do is I pop this into the, I'll pop this into the freezer and for every degree that I try to bring it down, it takes me about three minutes, three and a half around there. So I'll calculate for 72, I want this to be at 68 degrees, 20 degrees Celsius. 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So I am gonna need about 12 minutes in the freezer. Okay, well while we wait for that to get ready, this one I usually do it at 28 degrees. It's going to be at around 72, 74 degrees.
right, this guy should be ready. See if we have any pictures. What we do is oh, tight. This is a cool trick that I learned from Film Boy. Appreciate it, man. This is probably the longest part of the whole situation is the cleaning up. We did the rim jet at the right temp. We should be good. Should be. That's how I shot it though. You know, you just run my finger over it. I'll do this across the entire stretch of the film. Looks like I messed up there. <laughs> Didn't expose anything there. Part is the raveling. Gotta unravel it. Pieces of it's a PVC. This is for a little bit off. As you can see there's still some red bit on there.
this is what I use to put it in. I have a t-shirt inside of a bucket. So I dry it off one last time. Let it sit in the photo flow for a couple minutes. This is a rum jet can. Try to get the cleanest the negative possible. Still a lot of stuff coming out. Not a lot, a lot. Still some stuff. All right, guys. It's so close. Pieces that it looks like there wasn't anything that might be something. It's like I was all over the place with the exposure on this. Alright. Let me show you guys. Got some pictures. Let's get it hung up. We want to have the. We want to be resting it on the emotion side. I use an old trellis that I put nails on at the end. It's about seven feet long. Yeah, this guy's. It's about seven. I can do two rolls. On this trellis on this side if I wanted to do four I could do it on the other side as well sure that there's enough room in between looks like we have some good pictures here big long stretch without pictures so that's it got it all hung up we're all ready to go if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to see some more videos like this go ahead and hit that subscribe button I have another one that's going to be coming out. It's going to be how to tell a scene. It's going to be uh, how we're going to transfer this to digital. Thanks for joining me today, guys. And uh, I forgot to say it before. Merry Christmas and have a happy new year. Be safe out there. Wear your masks. <laughs> the man is well. Coming at you with uh, how to develop Super 8 with caffeinol.